Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm excited that you're here with me today, you guys, because we are going to do another foundation review. There have been so many foundations released lately, you guys, but only a few of them have really called my name. This is one of them, and that is the new offering from Sicily. This is the Fido Taunt Ultra Eclat. It is an oil-free foundation that says that it is long-lasting, but what drew me to this one more than anything you guys is number one I have used in the past the Fido Taunt Eclat the version before this this one I believe is replacing that one and that was a beautiful foundation my only gripe with it is I never could quite get my shade right it just never was exactly right it was either way too dark and peachy or way too light and rosy and so unfortunately it only worked for me like in the middle of the summer when I was the most tan and even then it wasn't quite right but the finish and the longevity and everything else about that foundation was fantastic what's super cool too you guys is that it is one ounce and this is $95 which obviously still luxury, still high end, but it's like $25, $27 cheaper than its predecessor. So that's kind of cool. I am gonna get this going on my face and I will read to you while I'm doing that some information from the Sicily website. We'll go over all of the specs and all of that good fun stuff and I will do some final thoughts tonight when I get home from work. This is gonna be on my face for a very, very long day and we will put to the test its long lasting claim. Names. So I'm going to roll some application now. From Sicily's website, Fido Taunt Ultra Eclat is a light diffusing oil free fluid foundation. Reveal skin that looks instantly radiant and flawless with imperfections minimized and a blurred effect on the skin texture. Day after day, a mineral complex acts to enhance the complexion's natural radiance. Buckwheat seed extract, which we'll talk about more, acts as an anti-pollution shield. Extracts of mallow and gardenia flower provide hydration and comfort for fresh feeling skin. The long-lasting, lightweight, and blendable texture offers a very natural velvety finish and a medium buildable coverage. It is oil-free and there is a range of 14 natural and ultra-luminous shades which fit a multiple skin tone and undertone. Now, it does suggest that you shake the bottle, apply the foundation with light strokes using the fingertips or a foundation brush. I did go ahead and use a sponge, you guys, because I have tried it with a foundation brush and with my fingers, and I still do prefer the sponge. Start applying from the center of the face, moving outwards. I don't really do it that way either. I focus more on my hyperpigmentation and that kind of stuff and move all around my face. Now, it says that immediately the complexion should look more even, illuminated, and smoothed for a perfect skin effect. Day after day, the complexion's natural radiance is visibly improved. The skin is better protected against pollution and moisturized all day long. Now, the key ingredients that we're gonna talk about, you guys, that Sicily does call out is a mineral complex of copper, zinc, magnesium for luminosity. Then the one that I'm most interested in is the buckwheat seed extract, which supports preserving the complexion's radiance. Mallow extract, which possesses moisturizing and softening proper properties, and gardenia flower extract, which is moisturizing, softening, and emollient. So we will discuss those ingredients further in a minute. Okay guys, I have finished my makeup and I wanna let you know what I put on my face because I do think that this is kind of important. I have on my Goa, which is a bronzer from Shantikai, and it's very, very red based. And I have it along this kind of area here. I'm just not ready to give up on summer yet, you guys. I buffed that into my skin and I wanna tell you that I buffed it in with this Pro Diffuser 64 from Sephora. This is such a fantastic brush for bronzer, you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but the bristles, it's almost like a stippling brush. It's got those longer. So I can actually pick up a bunch of product and then lightly buff in a bronzer instead of getting really getting in there. And I just feel like it really diffuses a gel bronzer like this one from Chantakai really well. Plus the fact that this has so much pigment that I don't want it to be too harsh. So I just, I really enjoy this brush. And of course I love this bronzer. Now the other thing that I do have on my face today is this new highlighter from Marc Jacobs. It's not gonna be super standout for you guys, but I do have it on right here. And this is gorgeous. If you guys haven't seen this, 
it's new as well and it has this kind of shift in it that is a cool tone but then it has these golds in there. It is just a beautiful um, highlighter. And the crazy thing is it is, first of all, it says it's an all over foil luminizer. I would never wear this on my whole face, but I think it's beautiful as a highlighter because it's not um, super sheeny. It's just kind of catches light. It does have almost like little, little pieces of glitter in it, but they're grown up looking glitter because I don't think that you can see them like pieces all over the place, but you get, my gosh, you get a third of an ounce, which is really big for a highlighter. Anyway, that is what I have on my face as far as additional products. I did use my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer underneath my eyes, which I always do. And then I finished off my lower eye with my By Terry. This is just a little, um, a little version of the Bronze Moon. This is such a fantastic little pencil. I got this one at Selfridges and it's like $16, but what a great little tiny purse friendly version of one of my all time favorite eyeliners. Okay, back to the foundation. So here's where we're starting. I'm gonna head to work and I just wanted to give you guys a look. The foundation goes on and it's supposed to be like velvet and I will tell you that normally I stray from those things. You guys saw when I just did the Shiseido Synchro Skin and kind of what that did. The difference with this one, you guys, because this one, it, it does dry down to kind of a demi matte. It's a radiant matte as far as I'm concerned and it blurs texture, I feel like, and it blurs pores. Gives you more of, you know, just sort of a refined skin texture versus, in my opinion, emphasizing on me at least my texture. Okay, so I wanted to go over a couple of the ingredients because that's kind of my thing that are in this foundation that Cicely calls out. And that is the buckwheat seed extract also the mallow extract and the gardenia flower extract. Now those sit at 14, 15, and 16 in the ingredient deck. So that's not like they're any of the first ingredients, but that's actually pretty respectable as far as foundation goes because a lot of the ingredients that come before these extracts are kind of important to the actual formula of the foundation. The first one that I really wanna to talk to you guys about is this buckwheat seed extract. What's pretty cool about this is that it is highly concentrated in polyunsaturated fatty acids, which help with your skin elasticity. Buckwheat seed extract is not wheat. It's actually a fruit seed extract, you guys. And it contains vitamin E, riboflavin, which is vi vitamin B2. It also has vitamin B3, which we know I love. It has pentolinic acid, which is vitamin B5. It has B6, it has folate, What's really cool about buckwheat seed extract, you guys, is that it contains vitamin P, as in penny. But vitamin P is high in something called rutin. And this is a bioflavonoid that is amazing at being an antioxidant. There are so many cool things about buckwheat seed extract. I'm gonna put a little graphic up here because I gotta tell you that this is an ingredient that I will definitely be looking for in the future in my skincare. Now, like I've said before, you guys, I don't really think that foundation is a replacement for skincare or it, you know, really is skincare. However, when you can stack into an ingredient deck some anti-inflammatory, anti-pollution, antioxidant, you know, ingredients, then I only think that they can serve your skin better than if they weren't there at all. Buckwheat seed extract is definitely one of those things that I am super excited about now. And I think it's pretty neat that it is in this foundation. And I think it's what gives this foundation its ability to be anti-pollution. Now, as far as the mal extract, you guys, that one is anti-inflammatory and it is also soothing. So that's an excellent, excellent ingredient. And then the gardenia, which is also known as gardenia Florida, that one is high in flavonoids as well and ferulic acid, which are amazing antioxidants, you guys. So those three ingredients that Cicely calls out that they have kind of in the middle of that ingredient deck actually are pretty stellar ingredients 
and I'm pretty excited about them in this foundation. So I will check back in with you guys a little bit later on today, but I thought that it was important that you know kind of what's in this foundation. It is oil-free, it is free of alcohol, it does have fragrance. So those are some things that you need to know about this foundation as well. And I will see you guys somewhere in the middle of the day from work. Okay, everyone, I am home. Hold on, let me get my phone. I am home from work, you guys. It has been, it is 624 at night. I put this foundation on this morning sometime around 715, 720-ish. So 11 hours ago, I put this foundation on and I feel like it looks pretty dang good. Now, to be fair, can you see? My eyeshadow has creased. I work in an environment where there's a lot of steam, water. I actually, one of the reps came today and brought us all salads. So I had a Greek salad with an oily, like a vinaigrette-ish kind of dressing. So I ate through lunch, of course, that kind of thing. Now, the other thing that I do wanna point out, you guys, that's important is that I have dry and dehydrated skin. I am 45 years old. I have hyperpigmentation that I like to cover and I have redness. So there's a lot of things that I like to cover and I do think like my blemish here, that's coming through. I'm seeing some of my hyperpigmentation and my redness there. Same thing over here. You can see a little tiny bit of my blush and my highlighter, but for 11 plus hours, I feel like this is very comfortable. I feel like my skin still looks decent. It's not like it's just melted off of my face. There's a little oil that has come through, but the foundation itself seems like it's kind of stayed intact. So I'm really, really impressed. I already knew I was gonna be impressed because this is not a first impressions. I've already worn this. I want to tell you though, that if you are dry or dehydrated, you just wanna prep your skin well. Now, today I did use my Laneige Cream Skin. This is the first time that I have put this foundation on with that. I actually think in previous applications with this foundation, when I did not use that Laneige, I got longer wear time. It stayed velvet the entire time I was wearing it. So definitely the way that you prep your skin is going to change the actual finish of the foundation and the longevity, of course. But for my dry skin, this is one of the only times that I've been able to wear a velvet foundation successfully. And it does not feel dry or tight. I feel like it blurs my pores and gives me that look that other people get that I'm never able to have because of my dry skin. So for that, I really, really like this. Mine is Too Soft Beige, and it is such a fantastic shade. Clearly, it is a beige with a cooler undertone, and I am finding, just like my friend Abby Bliss White, that all these years we have been trying to do a different undertone, and I'm embracing the cool undertone, and I think that it's very, very flattering. So. Overall, guys, I'm super impressed with this foundation. I'm gonna link it in the description box, of course, if you wanna check it out yourself. There are 14 shades, it is one ounce, it is $95, and it withstood, withstood? Withstood, yeah, withstand, withstood. <laughs> it's been a long day, you guys. An 11 plus hour day. I'm literally still in my scrubs. I'm just like, I'm a mess from working all day in the treatment room and you know, all that good stuff. But I was really excited to test this out for you guys. I wish I would have had time during the day to do a check-ins, but it was crazy at work. It was too crazy to get a camera out. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic week. I am going to be putting up a collaboration video with Abby, my friend Abby Bliss White. We will be doing that this week, ranking our favorite foundations of the moment, our favorite new foundations. I do have a foundation in the mix that is maybe six months old, but we wanted to kind of give you guys our thoughts with our dry, mature skin and let you know kind of where everything stacks up. I do have, want to tell you guys, in my possession, I have the new Surratt Dew Drops foundation. I picked mine up in the shade three. I am gonna be wear testing this tomorrow, so I'm super excited that video will be coming as well. Okay, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe, and I will talk to you again very, very soon.